Hey guys, uh, welcome to week two of multi-step equations. This is variables on both sides. Um, I tried to mix up the uh, the view a little bit, so let's see let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to go down a bit so you'll have a better view here. Um, just six problems here. Again, it's just if you need help with it, uh, hopefully this will help. All right, so take a look. First one. 5x minus 5 equals 9x plus 3. So anytime you have variables on both sides, all you're doing is you're getting the variables from both sides onto one side. So always take the smaller variable away first. Small coefficient is 5, so we're going to subtract 5x from both sides. We're going to leave us with negative 5 over here. 9 minus 5 is 4x plus three. Now we're just solving a two-step equation. Subtract three from both sides. Negative eight equals four X and divide both sides by four. And X equals negative two. Okay. Even if you had done it the other way, if you had subtracted the nine X, you would have gotten the same answer. All right. On the number two. This comes up for me backwards. I'm hoping it doesn't for you. So we'll see. All right, so this is 3 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 3x plus 6. All right, so distributive property first, distribute the 3 in, 3x plus 6 equals 3x plus 6. So you can tell right away something's going on. 3x plus 6 equals 3x plus 6. You're like, wait a second. I, you should know what's happening, but... Let's continue to follow the rules. We'll get the x's on one side. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. That eliminates this, but it also eliminates this. We're left with 6 equals 6. Now, when you have something like this, this is infinite solutions. Okay? And the reason why it's infinite solutions is because no matter what you put in for x, this is going to be true. 6 equals 6. You can't change that. Okay, 6 is always going to equal 6. If x is 5, 6 still equals 6. If x is a billion, 6 still equals 6. Still equal six. If x is 32.8, 6 still equals 6. So it doesn't matter what the x is, 6 is always going to equal 6, and so therefore it's infinite solutions. Okay? All right. All right, we have... Negative 14 plus 2x plus 3 equals 5x plus 8 minus 3x. That's really small. I'm going to start writing bigger. All right. So combine like terms first. So we get 2x plus negative 11 equals, right, here's your negative, 2x plus 8. So once again, now you're looking at it saying, huh, the coefficients are the same. That's interesting. Well, let's take a look. Let's subtract the 2x from both sides first. That eliminates this, but it also eliminates this. We're left with negative 11 equals 8. Negative 11 obviously doesn't equal 8. And so therefore, this is no solution. And again, the reason is simple. Negative 11 doesn't equal 8, no matter what. It doesn't matter what you put in for x. That's never going to be equal. And so, therefore, this is no solution. Okay? All right. So, we're left with negative 8 x plus 6 equals negative 10 x plus 10. All right. So, again... I would always try to get rid of the smaller coefficient. The smaller coefficient in this case is the larger negative, which is negative 10. So I'm going to add 10x to this side. I'm going to add 10x to this side. That eliminates this. Different sign. So we're going to find the difference. 10 minus 8 is 2. And it's positive 2x plus 6 equals 10. Subtract 6 on both sides. 2x equals 4. Divide, divide both sides by 2. And x equals 2. Okay? Simple.
But again, that, that combines to what we did the first week, which is doing integers, right? You have to be able to do integers too. All right, that's why we're doing this stuff. It all has to, it all comes back. Okay. All right. Two plus six times the quantity x minus four equals three x minus 18 plus two x. Oh, sorry, plus three x. Okay. So again, Let's combine like terms. First thing we're going to do, distribute 2 plus 6x minus 24 equals. Now, this subtraction sign is for this 18. It is not for 3x. We're adding 3x. We're subtracting 18. If you just say it, right, if you say it, it helps you. 3x minus 18 plus 3x. We're not subtracting 3x. We're adding 3x. So 3x plus 3x is 6x plus negative 18. I'm just going to make a negative. Okay. Now, again, this is negative 24. So combine these two, we get negative 22 plus 6x equals 6x plus negative 18. And again, coefficients are the same. So you're like, oh, there's something weird going on. But let's subtract 6x from both sides. That's gone. That's gone. Negative 22 equals negative 18. Well, that doesn't work. Negative 22 doesn't equal negative 18. And so therefore, no solution. OK? All right, last one. Seventeen x minus eight equals eight times the quantity x plus nine minus x. Okay, so distribute a property. Seventeen x minus eight equals eight x plus seventy two minus x. Okay, so let's combine like terms over here first. Again, we're subtracting by x, so this is 7x plus 72 equals 17x minus 8. So get the variable on one side. Again, take the smaller coefficient out first, minus 7x minus 7x. That gives us 10x minus 8 equals 72. Add 8 to both sides. 10x equals 80. Divide both sides by 10, and x equals 8. Okay? That's it. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about, and it's the number. You're going to have some questions on there. and It's on Edge Elastic, and you'll see some questions that say the number of solutions. How many solutions are there to this equation? When you're talking about the number of solutions, you're just looking at the coefficients. If the coefficients are the same, all right, so here's the deal, right? There's one solution, there's no solutions, or there's infinite solutions, okay? So for one solution, the coefficients are different. If the coefficients are different, there's one solution every single time, no matter what. Remember, you have to combine like terms, all right? Combine all like terms. If you have variables on both sides and the coefficients are different, there's one solution, okay? No solution happens when the coefficients are equal. Infinite solutions happens when the coefficients yikes, are equal. So for no solution and for infinite solutions, coefficients are going to be equal for both of them. Okay? But there's two parts of this. Okay? So part number one is that the coefficients are equal. Okay? But part number two is the constants. You have to look at the constants. The constants are the numbers with the variables. 
Okay? So, number two, the constants are different. When the constants are different, no solution. The second one here, the constants are equal. My goodness, my writing is still just as bad as it was before. <coughs> so the constants are equal, okay? When you were talking about infinite solutions, the coefficients are equal, the constants are equal. No solution, the coefficients are equal, the constants are different. Let me give you an example. Okay, here's your example. 2x plus 5 equals 2x minus 7. Coefficients are the same. So we know it's going to be either no solution or infinite solutions. Coefficients are, uh, I'm sorry, constants are different, which means it's no solution. For infinite solutions, okay, 3x minus 4 equals 3x minus 4. <clears throat> coefficients are the same. That tells us right away it's going to be either infinite or no solutions. Then the constants are also the same, which tells us it's infinite solutions. Okay? Please remember it's not only the same number, but also the same sign. So if you see this, 3x minus 2 equals negative 3x plus 4, these coefficients are not the same. 3x is not the same as negative 3. Because 3 and negative 3 are different, one solution. Okay? That's the way it works. So it has to be, they have to be the same coefficient. Not only the same number, not only the same number, but also the same sign. Okay? That's all I got. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you could read what I wrote, although my writing is still just as messy and small as it was when I was teaching. That hasn't changed. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Comment on, um, on the classroom stream if you need to as well, all right? But I uh, hope you have a good week, and I'll talk to you next week.